You're locked into Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. I am Moran, the man, back in full effect. It is always a privilege and a pleasure when I get to chop it up with dope people who are out here doing their thing, moving and shaking. And I'm in the presence of somebody who's been putting it down for a minute, man. Seti Hendrix is here. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, man? Oh, uh, man. I'm blessed to highly favor how you can. Blessed to highly favor, man. I can't complain. Absolutely, man. You've been out here ripping and running, huh? Who you telling? Like, literally ripping and running, doing a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Feel good, though. Yeah, man. So, you know, um, you've been in the media a lot, running around, doing your thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that you're in a new space mm-hmm. when it comes to, like, just, you know, your situation as far as what you're doing musically. But um, I really want to just, you know, take a few steps back because, you know, a lot of people don't really understand what it takes to get in this position. For real, for real, man. It's, um, it's crazy, man. It, and, and when you speak on this position, it's like so much more to go. Mm-hmm. But to hone in on a specific uh, time and place right now where I'm at, it's just um, open space, freely. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's open with everything in life. The universe has got an open portal for everything just to go go crazy right now, I feel mm-hmm. like. So mm-hmm. I'm just in a real open space right now. That position I'm in, freely, free spirit, and just embrace it. That's crazy. Cool. You know, because you are fully independent now, um, but you've been putting that music for a long time. Mm-hmm. But before we get into the independence, you said you felt like you open space with the universe might try to come at you. You feel like you're being tested right now, man? Yeah, I definitely, definitely feel like I've been feeling like I've been tested all my life, but right now it's definitely been TOH. Mm-hmm. Universe definitely been TOH me like heavy right now. Mm-hmm. Why you feel that way? Uh, it's been testing my emotions. I've been wanting to clap back at so much things. I've been wanting to um, be petty. I've been wanting to be disrespectful from all that, but I just tell that same energy and turn it into play right now. I'm doing something good with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is life, period. Right. Right. I didn't do it, use it, nothing. Speaking of just me and my life right now, period. Yeah, because they always say it gets hard right before the glow of heaven. Every time. Yeah, every time. Every single time, man. So, you know, you're in this new space where, you know, you are officially independent. Um, talk to our listeners about, you know, the difference between being with a major and being on your own. You feel like it's it's easier, you know? Shit, I, don't, I mean, excuse my language. Uh, but I, don't, <laughs> I don't need my bad. I don't even really know yet. You know, I don't, it's, it's, it's new waters, man. I'm less than 60, 90 days. Less than mm. 90 days being it ain't even really nothing to be out. Oh, woo, woo, make a business. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, business is business. That's a great. And it's a great space to be in, though. Yeah. Why is it so great, man? You know? Yeah. Just one thing about it is to get the release of music when I want. Yeah. That's all. Just get it. Just put it out there. It's an art. This is an art. Mm-hmm. I really love music. Yeah. If they take the money and everything away from me, I'm still going to love music. Interesting. I'm still going to drop music. Still going to do what I got to do. Interesting. So you really sincerely do this for the love? Yeah, literally. Yeah. Where does that come from, man? Like, it had to be something that, you know, planted that seed in you. I mean, seeing the, seeing the way of certain music made my mama feel, seeing the certain reactions, certain songs I got out of people or it got out of people, you know what I'm saying, hearing it, just being in tune with what music really is, it spells, it's, it's, it spells that you put it out. And you can get on the mic and actually make somebody feel this way, and move this way and live their life by just the words you're saying. That's anointing. Spells and stuff that you put out. So I've always been attached to music because of what it really truly is and what it can bring out of a person. You know? mm-hmm. nah, that's beautiful, man. So when it comes to just your art as a whole, you know, just by listening to your music, you know, you clearly have been putting in a lot of time into your craft. You know? I've, been, I've been making music seven years all the way. Seven years. Who are you doing this for? Like, are you doing this for yourself, your family? Like, what, what really drives you to keep going? Um, to be honest, it's my my supporters, mm. the people who go hard for me every day when I don't even know it. Mm. Then, to be honest, then I'm my, my family, then me. Mm-hmm. So you put yourself last. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So why why do you on that on that um chart right? Why do you feel like everything is in a place that it needs to be? Because the, the supporters are the ones who even made the others wake up and listen to my music. Supporters are the ones who woke up and made my people, my family listen to the music. Mm-hmm. Like they, they, they the ones, you yeah. know. And you get a mass of people to get behind you, like obviously people are gonna follow. Absolutely. You know, it sounds like a leader. You know, I'm gonna be leading the right way, but it sounds like a leader. Yeah. And then my family, because due to the money that comes with this, mm-hmm. you can take care of your family. Yeah. And then yourself, then me. Right. You know, just because I love me, I love, Everything about music, everything about hip hop, everything about that. Yeah, you know, we're fifty years into hip hop, mm-hmm. 
and you're from the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. So I gotta ask you, yeah. outside of yourself, yeah, who would you consider to be the GOAT of Florida hip hop? Outside of yourself. Outside of myself. Who would you consider to be the, the GOAT of Florida? Coming out of your state. Shout out Uncle Lou. Mm -hmm. Shout out Uncle Lou. Gotta give a shout out to Uncle Lou. But I'm, I'm gonna go with, um, I, I gotta go with Rick Ross. T-Pain and Rick Ross. T-Pain and Rick Ross or T-Pain or Rick Ross? Like, shit, both. If we can do it, we can lift both, the, both our black kings up. Let's lift both of them up. But, you know what I'm saying? Ross. T-Pain T and Rick Ross for sure, both of them. Why them? Like, why them specifically? I mean, look what, look what Rick, Rick Ross, because you can say Trick Daddy, but then Rick Ross had a lot of handprint Trick and uh, Slip and Slide. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Flies, too, though. Mm -hmm. Shout out Flies. Then we can't, can't forget about Flies. Can't forget about a lot of people in Florida. Iceberg, can't forget about a lot Trina. of those. Yeah, but I'm not going to go down and listen to do I'm going to look at the black and white statistics, the numbers. I'm going to mix the streets in, the real politics, the overall, everything. Shout out Flo Rida, everybody. Get it. There's plenty I can name, but you ask me. So I'm going to say T-Pain and Rick Ross. And just because, like, look what Rick Ross did for Florida. Like, look what he brought back to Florida. Look, ooh, look how he stamped Florida. You know what I'm saying? He stamped Carroll City. He stamped Miami, too, but you know what I'm saying? He stamped Florida, too. And T-Pain, Tyler Harris, go Shit, Ladoo Ball, another mm -hmm. goal. That's what I'm saying. So it's plenty of them. Plenty, plenty, plenty of them. For sure, man. So, you know, leaning into the 50th year, because, you know, after this year, it'll be 51 and beyond. How does it feel for you knowing that you're also making your mark on where you're from? Uh, it feels good, man. To actually be a part of hip hop, man. And a lot of big steps. Right. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It feels good just to be able to say, I, I, I'm a part of this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Chasing the dream. That's a little bit. Because, you know, we know that um, you come from a long way as far as, you know, where you started and where you are now. But um, one thing I would like to ask you about is just, you know, how you how you handle everything from a mental standpoint. Because um, I saw an interview where you talked about, you know, losing certain people in this industry. You know, you talked yeah. about how it affected you when we lost Big Scar yeah. and a handful of other people. Yeah. So what type of space are you in and how do you um, just stay focused and just stay attached to the goal? Because you can easily fall off the rails. Um, Anybody could I worry, I worry about it in my own solitude. Mm -hmm. You know, I just deal with it. When I'm in myself, however I got to deal with it, I go out some water quick. I, I pray. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. I'm quick to bow down on my knees and just pray. Mm -hmm. You know, and cry out to me. Do all the kicking and screaming I got to do. Mm -hmm. Just roll me up a blunt. Just call my mama. I'm going to bunk with that. And then call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Step out into the world. What I gotta do, walk out head up, chest out. How are you able to do that though? Because, you know, I mean, yeah, being able to, you know, call people that you love, but you still gotta come back to this. You know, you still gotta, you know, deal with the realities of it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, you know, we, you're the rapper. Yeah. You're the performer. You're the person that gotta get in front of people. You're the one that gotta see the comments. You're yeah. the one that gotta deal with that. So, you know, how are you able to just, you know, go through it despite it? see the vision, you know, I see like, I see what's at the end, mm -hmm. but I gotta go through these, like I have to, because if that would, if he would, it would be too easy just to, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't appreciate everything, so, I'm enjoying it, man, and I, I ain't gonna lie, but I get high. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that? Yeah, I get high, you know, but I'm annoying, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and it just, it's, it's a strength in me, it was something that was just installed in me, that's put in me, God made it show, my mama made it show that, like, Never gonna look like what you're going through. I'm never gonna look like what I'm going through. So by the time you you find that I was going through it, going through it, I'm on some whole other type of time. And I don't even look like that. Like, mm -hmm. damn, bro, you held all that in. Look at you, man. Like you look how you yeah, like that's how that's how I do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, man. So you said that you see the vision at the end of the day, which I think is phenomenal because you know, can't nobody paint a picture like the person that's yeah, painting. It's there, I gotta get there. Mm -hmm. Nobody for to stop me and to stop me from getting to where I gotta go. As long as I don't go against my moral and physical, I'm Gucci. Absolutely, man. So talk to us about this Florida boy label, man. Talk to us about it. Oh shit, it's the label. It's been the label, Florida boy. Shout out to Quan. Shout out to Red. That's the team. It's, uh, 
Shout out Swagworks, shout out Hype Williams, shout out J Black, you know what I'm saying? Shout out D Foles, shout out the whole squad, Slug, every Sonny, everybody who's, and they ain't even, all these people ain't even on Florida Boy Black and White, but it's just so many people who pushed me and helped me in my career with Florida Boy, with me, period. You know what I mean? So, like, Florida Boy been there, ain't going nowhere, for real. That's the label, for real. I mean, ownership, you know, I feel like in this new era, that's the main thing that everybody talks about. Ownership, yeah, make yeah, sure you yeah. own your label and your masters. Yeah, but, but, and then people be trying to brag about all that and they don't even got nothing that's <laughs> technically no work on it. It's like, come on, bro, relax. Don't be yourself. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But you're right. Everybody should be out here on, on some ownership, leadership, everything. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do for yours, but have a sense of knowing, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to yeah. get there. You got to climb. You got to get to where you need to go. But yeah, man. I, I came with a game on it, my publishing though. Mm. Gave up the masters to a degree, but you know what I'm saying? Like I've always had the sense of ownership. You know what I mean? Mm. Just, you know, they was lost in the sauce when it came to certain other things, but you know what I mean? Hey, you live and learn. Yeah. Live and learn. Live and never turn, man. Never turn. Absolutely, man. So talk to us about these new records you got, man. Because I'm, I'm deaf and I also want to speak on what well, you're going in. Talk to us about that. Oh no, 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 no. Oh hand hearts out right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hand on our side right now, 509 out right now. Me and Mexico, me and Mexico, Joe got a tape on the way. Four, four to five tracks already done. Me and TNT got a, a EP on the way. Five tracks already done. Um, me and Double A just linked up. Okay. We got, exactly. we already got a song, but that's gonna be an easy six, seven track. Um, who else? Because I'm waiting on you to say you and Sunny Digital. Guys. That's that's oh, the one I'm waiting Sunny, on. Um, <laughs> that's the one. Sunny finna drop his tape. And I personally feel like he created one of the most uh, magnificent sounding tapes that's going to come out. Like mm-hmm. the way it sounds sonically, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Shout out Spill, shout out those, everybody who mixed on that is going crazy. And um, I'm glad to be a part of that project too. All, it's a lot of features I've been popping out on. Shout out Rob Banks. Everybody just been dropping features on. So yeah, it's hella tapes I got on the way. Hella new music, but Hand Hearts 509. I'm really ready to release this song called Pat's Why I just dropped through um, this YouTube, this this uh, new platform called uh, Lock Full Circle, mm-hmm. Lock In. You know what I'm saying? It uh, helped me release Pat's Why. But that's the next song I'm really ready to drop. Pat's Why and Bonnie. Another song called Pat's Why and Bonnie. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. a Bonnie for them to do in. Right. Yeah. That's gonna look okay. Sound like we got a lot to look forward to. Oh, a lot. Man. And I may pop out on your favorite rapper tape. Both of them. I ain't gonna say no names because I need that to ah. to the tuition. Yeah, we need everything to yeah, speak that. We need everything to clear first. You feel me? Yeah. Absolutely, man. But you know, with everything that you've gone through within this industry, with everything that you've learned, you know, with the with the ups and downs, the losses, it appears like you're still on the right path. So I gotta stay strong. Yeah. I got to. Shout out to my boy DC on point. I seen a clip in him like that. I watch a, I watch a, I watch a Nipsey Hussle tweet or clip every day, mm-hmm. every single day. Just like I, my mama sent me scriptures, I read every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But just gotta stay strong. I can't break. I can't break. I can't fold. If I turn around and quit now, I got so far to go back. So so far versus where I go, it ain't no point. Yep. You gotta keep going. Mm-hmm. You in it, man? Yeah, I'm in. You sure. need to win it, man. For sure, man. Well, in closing, man, you know we always just like to encourage, I guess, just you know, drop some gems. Try some advice to our listeners. So, mm-hmm. you know, Sadie Hendrix, newly independent artist, got a lot of dope music, owner. Get Sadie. some game to our listeners, man. Hey, man, you keep going. What the camera? Which one? Which one? Which, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? <laughs> yeah, man, you keep going. You don't, you don't fall. You better not break. You keep dying first. Mm-hmm. And you make sure you ended up and stand on your morals, man. You know what I mean? And you keep being great. You got it. Have a nice day. That part. Please give my listeners your social media. Let them know how to get in contact with y'all. That is so everything, way. everything. Seddy Hendrix, S E D D Y Hendrix. You'll find me on everything. For sure, man. Thank you. Absolutely, man. Well, congratulations to you in advance. Appreciate on everything you so that's much, about bro. to happen. Thank you. Me yeah, too, though, bro. Hey, man. I'm, I'm just trying to be cool like you, my boy. Man, listen, bro. Look, this office here next time. You're going to be on your own curb. <laughs> Big boy. Man. Hey, man. I receive all that. For I sure. receive all For that. Sure, man. So, man. Hey, Seddy Hendrix, Miranda. Hot 107, uh, Atlanta's number one hip hop station. Shout out to Tori, No Lanes, being behind the camera. Shout out to my boy Brandon. Hey, shout out to Brandon too. 
Florida, Duval, 904 County. Y'all know what it is.